And it's going to be that Nats lineup against that man right there. Paul Blackburn off to a white hot start, making his third start of the season. And it has been goose eggs across the board. Abrams, one of the centerpieces of this Nationals club, and for good reason, is next 0-2 offering is cut on and missed. Good start for Paul Blackburn, continuing to build, build, and build some more off of an already tremendous start. 2-1 is popped up. And it's playable for Noda as he backtracks. He will camp underneath and make the catch. Check swing from Gallo. He buried him. And Paul Blackburn, a pair of strikeouts. And the first inning, his hot start continues. 27-year-old right hitter Jake Irvin set to go to work. It's his third start of the year. 11 innings in two starts. Allowed seven runs all earned on 12 hits. Struck out nine. Out to right. Down toward the end of the bat, plays easily for Lane Thomas. Swing a broken back ground to the third. Trey Lipscomb has the hop. Edge of the grass fires on to Gallo. Good throw, good play. Two up and two down. Strike Beauty. three call. John Lipka took a look at it. Blade didn't like the call. Second inning here in Oakland. No score. It'll be Joey Manessis. Joey Manessis trying to drop one to center. And he will. Knocked down by Blade, so no further advancement. But that's uh, really something for Joey Manessis, who had a rough 0 for 8 across the bay. There's a base hit for Jesse Winker to right. Joey Manessis will pull in at second. It is the runners move up. He gives up the at bat with a ground out to put runners into scoring position at second and third. So here's Riley Adams getting the to start behind the plate again. And that's grounded to third. Davis charges the plate of the plate. The tag is late. They might want to take a look at that. Well, I think they're going to have to take a look at this. J.D. Davis does a great job of creating a little bit of an angle. And I want you to watch the tag on the left hand. Old Bangalier is challenging the right safe here. call he at go. the plate. That's a done deal. Caught the elbow of Manessis. You see that contact right there. You can see the elbow and the jersey sort of flare out the minute that Langelier's glove ends up catching the elbow. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. Oakland will retain their challenge. So that's the second out at the plate, 5-2. 1-0, Garcia pops it up in foul ground. Long way to go for Davis. He has room, and he hauls it in. Paul Blackburn manages to get out of the inning unscathed. Through the bottom of the second, there's no score. J.D. Davis leads it off for the A's against Jake Irvin. Swing and a miss on some high octane upstairs. Two consecutive Ks. Here's a swing and a line drive to left. Winker coming in, reaches down, makes a shoestring catch, and the inning is over. Now C.J. Abrams has hit seven of his last eight. Paul Blackbird so nice he did it twice against C.J. Abrams. Strikes him out swinging once more, and two are down. Blackburn paying close attention to Lane Thomas, who's taken off. Langoliers to second, and that is a dunk. That's why you don't run on Langoliers. Cuts him down another time. The bottom of the third were scoreless. And that'll bring in Lawrence Butler, who made his big league debut at Nationals Park last August. He had his first big league hit against Jake Irvin. And he hits the ball hard again. Deep to right field. That ball is not coming back. Lawrence Butler opens up the scoring for the A's, and they take the lead one to nothing. And maybe just that little bit of familiarity seeing Irvin again might have helped. Irvin fought the law and the law won. Let's take another look. Crushed. All aboard. Next stop, zone four. He's aboard a star at the inning. That's the first free pass allowed by Blackburn. He's pitching with a one nothing lead. Here comes Joey Manessis. 1-1-2. One, one, Manessis is a ground ball up the middle. Allen to Geloff to Nona. And the double play A's strike again. 6-4-3. Middle infield connection there. That's exactly what Paul Blackburn wants. Winker has another base hit. This one hooking. Butler over to get it on the dirt down in the corner. Jesse Winker into second. Hands first. And he's got a single and a double tonight. Now Winker's going to third. It's weakly grounded to first. Easy enough for Ryan Noda. And Paul Blackburn again gets out of trouble. Out Adams back to first. One away. That'll bring up uh, Trey Lipscomb. <laughs> He'll one. Grounded to short. Six. Four. Three. Just how he drew it up. Paul Blackburn has authored 19 consecutive scoreless innings to start the season. A blank. The Nationals over six innings tonight. Blackburn has pitched through some traffic, holding on to the slimmest of margins, one to nothing. As he's knifed his way through this Nationals lineup, continuing the streak. Nationals trying to add to their five-hit total. Tying run at first here in the seventh. 
Swing and a miss. Got him to chase one in the dirt. Mark Kotze has gone out to the mound, and he will now take the baseball from Paul Blackburn. Another stellar start. So the Nationals will try their luck against somebody other than Blackburn. And he'll hook one out into left. Fought back even, and he's on for the second time. He calmly takes the walk, and they're loaded with two outs. The bases are loaded for the Nats. They're threatening, but they're two outs. And C.J. Abrams seeing the ball well against left-handers. Oakland clinging to a one-nothing lead. Could be the biggest pitch of the night. Struck him out. T.J. McFarland answers the call and finishes with an emphatic strikeout. We go to the ninth inning. The Nationals are down a run. Jesse Winker now batting 343 with his three for three night gone. Jimenez's pitch. He's at the top of the zone, but nothing there. Three and two, and now you think more Dallas is a crucial pitch considering the scope of the game. Winker launching one in the year to right. Butler Curry. watching it. See you later. And in the wee hours, the Nats have tied it. Jesse Winker. Stay hot, kid. 79 on that slider, 101 off the bat. And we got ourselves a ball game. You get squeezed on a fastball that would have had Winker headed back to the dugout and instead gets a breaking ball gift wrapped and he didn't miss. Extra frames at the Coliseum on a Friday night in a 1-1 tie. J.D. Davis playing in, but Abrams is going to swing away. Hard shot to first base. Nevin eyes the runner. Tags the back. Now they're going to third. Davis is tagged. It's in time. A base running blunder by Trey Lipscomb. And a big double play for the A's in the top of the 10th. And I think he was talked into it. How about the play a Nev? Gobble it up, gotcha. Put the peepers on him and almost talked him into taking off. Nevin with the wherewithal to back up towards the bag, maintaining eye contact with the runner. That was just a fantastic job. 2-0 to Thomas. Popped up. Who's got it? Gelov calling everyone off, and he makes the catch. A quick inning for Michael Kelly. We'll go to the bottom of the 10th. Let's try this again, boys. Bottom of the 10th inning, the Nationals don't score in the top. Lawrence Butler now up. He started the A's fire. Could he be the one to finish the game? Shot the other way. That's going to drop down. Schumann waved home. Here comes the play. He is safe. Lawrence Butler answers the call, and his first career walk-off happens on Friday. April the 12th, he started it, and the law finished it. Have yourself a day. That's a tough at bat against a fireball in Finnegan, and Butler would answer the bell. And the green and gold on top.